I'm going to go over the difference between a mastery tracker and a curriculum map within Mastery Connect. So if you've connected your map into your Canvas course, it should look like this. If you have not done this step, it's going to look like this and it's going to say missing mastery tracker. I might have another video on how you can pull that map into mastery tracker. I will link it down below. But if you've done that step, then it should look like this. And this is your tracker mastery tracker. This has your students here um, up here. You can change your sections. I can scroll over to see the standards within the master tracker. I can hover over to see the standard and then it will also show me my power standards and that up here is how many um, assessments are watching that standard. So I can scroll over, I have different colors, those signify the different units and that is my mastery tracker. Now. If you want to see your your curriculum map, you can go over here to mastery. And then I have my maps right here. And this is my map. If it's not under created, you have other options here. It's probably under shared with me. So if you click on that name, that will take you to the map. And this kind of shows you how those standards were broken down in each unit. So for this map, particularly, um, the teachers decided to break the standards up into quarters. Depending on how the map was made, there might be notes for the standard. You can click this to show you the whole standard. This will expand all the standards. And this is how right here, this is where the um, assessment the CFA is linked and what standard it's reading. You can click that to take you to the CFA. And so this is a curriculum map. And then if I go back, if I go back to the Canvas course, this is the tracker right here. So if, I, if I'm in Mastery Connect, you can see I have my maps here and I have my trackers up here. And so the trackers, we want to make sure that they're linked to our Canvas courses. So you don't want to create a tracker here. You want to create that tracker within Canvas. And it will show up here, but really, since we all um, are doing most of the work within Canvas, you can just access your mastery tracker right here. It's important to note that you need to set up a tracker for each of your courses that you teach. Not for each section, but for each course. You can also see with your master tracker that you have your assessments on here. You can import Canvas quizzes and you can add assignments. Um, there's a lot more other things you can do. Be on the lookout for more videos uh, as we dig deeper into Mastery Connect and we continue using this program. Thank you for watching and make sure that you like and subscribe and follow our channel so that you can keep up to date with Mastery Connect.